So yeah, welcome everybody to the workshop on presenting your own research in three minutes to a lay audience. So um, you imagine, for example, being on the train on the way to a conference or on the high school reunion or something, and you explain uh, what, what are you doing? And there may be important context, so it's it's good to be convincing, and that's what we learned today. So yeah, yes. slide. Yeah, sorry. So the the most important thing is that you get in the right mindset before you start. So um, that's what I, what we do now. So um, I already informed you via email that you should think about a situation where you got this very like inspiring moment about your research, like some kind of like a central moment that excited you about what you're doing. So it's it's gonna, it would be great if some of you would share one of these moments, like what did you feel like? How did it, like, what did you do? How did it feel like? What did you, for example, yeah. Like all the enthusiasm and if, when you tell us the story, then you get in the right mindset. So that's, that's the practice session in the start of the of the workshop. And it's also good to get us all in the mindset because we just need a few of your uh, stories and then everybody gets in this right mindset. So it would be great if you share one of your experiences. Like I found something and I tested something and it worked and I didn't ever believe that the effect would be like that or, you know, like the... Holika moment. <laughs> but you should have one of these very like intense emotional moments, like um yeah, being available all the time. So you can just address this feeling and then elicit the right mindset from, from, from this resource. Like this is your personal kind of source of enthusiasm, yes. So you you Use that every time you want to get into the right mindset, and it's your it's it's a very personal feeling. Like you should have experienced that in person. It's not something that you just imagine. It's something that you already that that you have a memory, like a very intense memory about something. That's the feeling that you need. It's not the other people like liking you, but it's yourself. Like this is a really important thing. And now I had the opportunity to share it. And it went really well, and other people are convinced too. But the most important thing is that you are convinced, and you say this is a really important thing. And now I see that it's it's working. So other people are also convinced by my research, and I'm proud. Like this proud feeling in your chest, like this really, like I gonna conquer the world thing. That's that's the thing you need to to get in the right mindset. Because yeah. So that's that's a nice uh, thing too. If you get this feedback when you present your research, so yeah, uh, you you know what I mean. So everyone should be like thinking about the story. You don't have to share, but it's important to get into the mindset. And this is also a very so I'm doing hypnosis research, <laughs> and if you um, want to, for example, coach uh, a sports person or someone who has to to um, perform. On a certain point, like you are going to the Olympics and there's a special day, a special time, and you have to perform. And then you replay your great feelings and make them available like immediately. So you can switch on the light and shine. So that's the thing that you train yourself and you need this personal memory or experience that you're referring to for this resource. So this is the important first step before any content comes into play. So next one, I don't know why this So yeah, three central points. Um, I already told you that I'm gonna ask you these three questions. So I am investigating, what do you do? Like uh, name your topic. I want to find out, like you add a question. So more specific, that's what you're doing right now. And because that is important for us, so you motivate your question. And these three things, like if you have that, it's also like the birth process of any research proposal of any grant that you write or something, because you have to get that in the center. Like what is what is the core of it? 
So I'm asking you if you want to share it right now, or if we we can also um, go to the. I prepared some kind of situations that you should practice your skills, or you can practice before. So you can choose if you want to practice it without any special kind of situation that I tell you. Like this is the situation where you have to present your research to a lay audience, or if you want to practice this right now before we do that. You get the message of this. So this is the most important thing that you should keep in mind. I can also switch to the slide if you need it again. And yeah, so these are like my suggestions for helpful techniques. It's just to to make this even more convincing. So um, people think in images. So like you have to prepare powerful images or pictures, like pictures of situations, pictures of whatever, like, um, yeah. So, so you kind of have this in front of your eyes when you hear about it. It's very concrete. So you know that it's really, it, it, it's a real story, right? Because you, you have to have experienced that to create this picture. And the next one is involve emotional content. So, um, yeah, everyone has kind of, so for example, when I hear your story, I think about, yeah, when I, when did I have side effects? How do I feel when I'm going to the doctor? Like I'm anxious, maybe I'm frightened. I'm, I have problems. I'm suffering and I want to get help. And then someone tells me like, okay, you, you get this pill, but you have this and this and this, but you don't want. And, and then I'm in a kind of conflict. So do I want the, the, the medication or do I, fear the side effects. So so this is kind of the emotional content that you could like put on the scene. So everyone can relate to that. And that's the next point, make it personally relevant. So why should I be interested in that? Because I'm a human and I'm suffering sometimes. So it's kind of, you can catch me with that, right? So you kind of give me something that I can identify with and I, so you, you, so the other, you, you, you think that the other one is generally interested, but you have to give them a reason, like why should I, uh, why is it relevant for me? And that's the thing, like that's really like relevant, and I have to listen. I'm really like my uh, attention is growing then because I oh that that might be an important information, and now I'm, yeah at the source of a really interesting uh, yeah, research finding or something that it could change my life possibly. So I'm really listening, I'm really attentive and that's what we want to get. So that's what makes your information and your pitch more, yeah, get, gets, gets more important and everyone is more convinced. So this is my first scene that I prepared for you. You're at the high school reunion and meeting your old uh, friends from school and you're dancing and there's a song. Songs usually take like three minutes. That's because our, our workshop is presenting your research in three minutes. So you're having a dance and the other, other person is asking you, what are you doing right now? So what's, what's your job right now? And then uh, you have this, like, it's loud and, you know, it's not, not a quiet place and you're moving around, you're dancing. And during that, you're presenting your research. That's the scene that you should keep in mind. So next scene is you're at your grandmother's birthday and you meet your, your relatives. And, yeah, you know, it's like maybe they are old, they are in a other like a different kind of you don't share the same kind of everyday life so you have to be more like on a like a very easy to understand level and someone of your relatives is is asking you what is your research about like they know that you're doing research but they are not sure what it what is about and they are kind of interested and now you have the opportunity to tell them about it okay um uh, third this is a more challenging uh thing so you're uh how do you say that uh, you are in let's imagine you're in the 
uh, German Research Foundation uh, building and you're in the elevator and you meet the person who decides about your research proposal. And you have three minutes on the elevator. Elevator, It's a very slow elevator or you have a lot of levels to go. And then, uh, or you can talk uh, in front of the elevator if it's if you're already there. And then, um, yeah, the question is like, why should we spend money on your research? And this is not the like, this is not the situation like before you have your friendly grandmother, you have now a very kind of, you know, it's, yeah, he can spend his money wherever. And uh, why should we spend it on your research proposal? And that's important because you want to get the money. And now you have the opportunity to tell why you're so worth of being funded. Last scenario for you. So maybe you're going like to a conference or back from this conference later on, and you're sitting on the train and there's a stranger on the other side. And yeah, he is, he, he, he seems to be nice, but you don't know anything about his background. And he asks you, why are you going? And you kind of take that as an invitation to talk about your research. Okay, so um, that was it. Um, I hope that you are more like convinced now that you are convincing, can be convincing, and how you can be convincing. And you have more like tools in your toolbox and know where your resource is. Like I'm, I'm an enthusiastic researcher and it's a privilege to do that. And I'm happy to share it with you. So that's, um, yeah, the important thing that I wanted to tell is that it's important how you are convinced yourself and how, what pictures are in your mind, what past experience you're thinking about right now. And of course, there are all kinds of experiences, but you think about the positive ones and then you expect positive feedback from the current situation. And that's the optimal yeah, way of making it a great experience. And that can that you can refer later on. So you you're with your growing experience to convince people, you're creating more positive memories, and that you can refer to next time. So you're building up a huge amount of positive experience associated with your research, and that helps you keep keep motivated. And yeah, it's not only to sell your, your research, but also to be motivated yourself and go to the yeah, not so nice episodes in researchers' life and yeah, stay mental healthy. So thanks for the workshop.